Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a chatty get ready. I haven't done one of these videos in a while and I have a bunch of new makeup that I just recently got that I have not tried out yet. So we're gonna do that together. We're gonna try this on camera. I'm gonna be chatting with you guys while I get ready and trying new products, first impressions. I'm excited. I recently bought a bunch of new e.l.f. products on the e.l.f. website. Like a bunch of stuff I've never tried before. So I'm gonna use a couple of those things plus other brands as well. And surprisingly enough, I don't have my eyebrows on today. I'm sure you guys have noticed, but I never, ever, ever do my brows on camera. I have a couple of brow routines like up on my channel, but I just skip them. I always do them first because I take so long to do my brows. And since I do the same thing every single time, I don't like to include them in tutorials. But really quickly, I'm just gonna do my brows. This is the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Wax Pencil in clear. I'm just gonna try this on my brows. I'm gonna apply this before I apply my brow product just to kind of tame them down. I'm gonna use the new Benefit products on my brows. This isn't new, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I am in the shade three in all of the new Benefit brow products. So I'm gonna take the Precisely My Brow pencil and just fill in my brows and then go over it with the Benefit Gimme Brow. Okay, so now I have my brows on. That wax, I can't really tell, but did a pretty good job. So I already have the look in mind, like what I wanna do. I wanna do something a little bit more dramatic with lips and then something very, you know, natural on the eyes. I got this e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist, so I'm gonna try that. I'm very excited, I love mists. Ah. Ah. What? What the f Okay, no. Oh, absolutely not. This shoots water. Look at my shirt. Like this spits water like a damn camel. Whoa, I hope that doesn't take off my brows. <laughs> I honestly hope my squirter is just broken. This is not a fine mist at all. Not a fine mist. Wow. I don't like that. There's like water on my desk. Like it shot all the way back there. I don't have a new primer, so I'm just gonna prime my face with the NYX Angel Veil. For foundation, I actually do have a new product that I purchased online at Walmart. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. So I haven't used it on my face. I don't exactly know if this is my color. This is 203 Nude Beige. It honestly was like the only one that wasn't sold out on the website, so I bought it. And I bought this on the Elf website. Precision Sponge Trio. I was so excited when I saw this. So it comes with a little one, kind of like a micro mini, like the Beauty Blender. And then a medium one, kind of like the Beauty Blender a uh, blusher and then a big one kind of like the regular beauty blender so that's really cool it feels really nice it feels really nice i'm gonna go with it look how big it got it's humongous it's so big so i'm just taking some of this foundation on the back of my hand we'll see if it's my color oh i feel like this sucks up a lot of product holy crap like, all that foundation is gone. That's weird. You know what, I'm gonna do half my face with this sponge and then half my face with another one because I feel like a lot of product got sucked up into this. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this sponge. I love the texture, I love how bouncy it is. Like, I love it, but I feel like it's soaking up a lot of product. I'm gonna use the Real Technique sponge on the right side of my face. Okay, yeah, definitely. This just spreads out so much more product. Like, I put the same amount on the back of my hand and it did my entire right side of my face. When this side, like with this sponge, I had to like pump it twice on the back of my hand. So right off the bat, this foundation is really, really nice. I think the original Infallible Pro Matte has more coverage but it still looks really, really pretty on my skin. It gives you a nice natural glow, not too dewy. And I really love how it feels when I touch my face. Like it feels just like barely tacky. Some dewy foundations just feel super sticky on the skin. This one does not. Okay, so for concealer, I actually have a new concealer. Too Faced recently sent me their Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealers. So I'm gonna be trying this out. I haven't tried it yet, I'm so excited to do this. 
I'm gonna take the shade Fair and I'm gonna apply this underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles and to highlight my face as well. I'm also gonna bring this onto my eyelids to kind of prime my lids. So I'm so sorry that I didn't post a video on Wednesday. It's just been a shitty few days. Honestly, with all the things that have been happening like in the world recently, I've just been in a funk and I mean, it's not about me, obviously, but I've just been in a sad mood, you know? I'm not gonna film a video if I'm just not in it. If my heart is not in it and I just don't feel good and I just don't feel right, I'm not gonna film a video. And I know this is my job and you know, this is what I do, but you guys would be able to tell if I'm not in it. If I'm in a funk, like you guys know. So today I woke up with a little bit less anxiety and I thought, okay, you know what? I'm gonna sit down and film because I need to have a video up on Friday, which is today, if you're watching this on the day I upload. So um, I think I love this concealer, I think. It has really, really nice coverage. I love the consistency. So far, so good. I really like this concealer, oh my gosh. I'm gonna set that with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder because I feel like this foundation accentuates my pores a little bit, so I wanna add some powder right here on my cheeks. Just like erases them. Doesn't make them completely go away, but this powder like works miracles. I'm not gonna powder my entire face because I wanna go in with cream products in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. I feel like my brows don't match today. My brows are looking so wicked these days, I have to do them. I hate this neck thing. I have to fix it with like a glue gun or something. Okay, so I recently got like a ton of palettes in the mail. I was gonna use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, but I wanna go like more bold on the lips and this is like very bold on the eyes. If you wanna see a tutorial using this palette, let me know. I'm either gonna use the new Lorac Pro 3 or I'm gonna use the Violet Voss and Laura Lee collab. Congrats, Laura. This is so stunning and beautiful. I love Violet Voss shadows. This is an amazing palette. And I'll probably use like a mixture of both of these. I just realized I've had a ponytail in like the last three videos. Oh well. I'm gonna go into the Lorac 3 and I'm gonna take Pink Nude. This is a Sephora Pro Crease Brush and I'm just gonna buff this into my crease. I haven't used any of these eyeshadows before. I don't know what I'm doing on the eyes. <laughs> Honestly, I just know I want something that isn't too cray cray. I'm gonna go into the Laura palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of Pris Pot and do the same thing, but I'm not gonna use too much of this color. It's very similar to Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. Just adding a little bit of warmth. Now with a more precise little crease brush, this is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending. I'm gonna take Britches right here which I love that name. It's like, witches with attitude are britches. <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm gonna add a little bit of this on the outer corners. I am so sad that I have not been watching like TV shows. I feel like all my shows are on hiatus right now. Um, I completely fell off of Arrow and Flash, which is so unlike me because Arrow is like one of my favorite shows. Haven't seen, haven't seen it at all in months. I need to get back on that. I'm gonna take the shade Clay right here and I'm gonna do the same thing I just did. Layer that color right on the outer corners and put it a little bit in the crease. I always think I have a lot of things to talk about when I sit down to film these videos and then I get here and I'm like, oh, okay, what do I say? I feel like I get in the zone when I'm putting on makeup, I'm like, and I don't talk. I'm gonna take another Luxie brush. This is the 213 and I'm gonna take canvas right here. And I'm gonna put this in my, actually, you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna take canvas. <laughs> and I'm gonna apply this on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna mix the shades Basic and Sugar as my brow bone highlight. Okay, so now I wanna get a little bit smokier on the outer corners, but with a cooler toned eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this one from Urban Decay called Secret Service. I just bought this on Sephora the other day because I wanted a really like deep, cool tone color. And I feel like I didn't have one, which I'm sure I do. 
I'm gonna take this e.l.f. crease brush and apply this to the outer corners of my eye. So, story time really quick. I'm a little bit concerned because I ordered some shorts like two weeks ago and they have not gotten here yet. I got them on the Selena Gomez like merchandise website. They're like jean shorts that say like Gomez on them or something. I bought them to wear to the Selena Gomez concert that I did not go to, but it's not like they would have gotten here in time anyway because I have not received them. And I cannot find my email anywhere. I feel like I accidentally deleted it. So I don't know what the issue is with that. I have to go like on her website and figure it out. Thank you guys so much. Um, I talked about why I didn't go to the concert on Twitter and you guys were so nice about it. I was beating myself up for hours, but you guys are just, you guys always make me feel so much better. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just blend things. For some reason, I had really bad anxiety the day before the concert or two days before the concert or something like that. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't go. You know, I don't like crowds. I don't like concerts. The only reason I bought tickets to Selena Gomez is because I love Selena Gomez. Going back in with this to add a little bit more. I love Selena Gomez so much. I've only been to one concert in my life and it was a John Mayer concert. When I saw that Selena Gomez was touring, I bought tickets months ago. I was so excited. Like two days before I had really, really bad anxiety about going for some crazy reason. I don't know why, but I was really, really, really trying to convince myself that it was going to be okay. And then um, the night before the concert, unfortunately, like Christina Grimmie passed away and it shook me to my very core. Like I was so sad and it was just so unfortunate. Like she was just at a meet and greet after performing and signing autographs and doing all that and somebody like just came up to her and shot her and it's oh, the world is a messed up place. I'm gonna take this first shade that I used, Pink Nude, and I'm gonna just blend things out here at the edges. The next day was the concert and I went to my sister's house and I dropped off the tickets and I was like, I can't go. I'm, if I go, I'm gonna have a panic attack and I'm gonna ruin the night for you and I don't wanna do that. I knew that if I was gonna go, I was just gonna panic while I was there. So I gave her my ticket and she took her cousin. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. I'm gonna use the Master Precise Skinny, did I spit everywhere? I think so, by Maybelline. Ugh, oh, that's all right. I'm gonna put on some winged liner. My eyes get so watery every time. Next up, I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Eye Booster to add that wing. I cannot talk during this. I need to focus. Okay, wings are on. This is as good as it's gonna get, folks. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of black eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this jet black shade, add just the smallest amount on the outer corners here just to deepen up a tad. I'm gonna take this little Milani crease brush. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take Pretty much the same colors I used on the top, not all of them. This is a Luxie 217. I'm gonna go into Pink Nude. Blend that underneath my lower lash line. I don't want something too smoky down here. I'm gonna take Clay and do the same thing. I'm gonna take this 238 brush by Zoeva. I'm gonna go into Secret Service and just apply this like on the very outer corner. I am really loving this eyeshadow. It's the perfect deep cool tone brown. I love it. I want a super bright inner corner, so I'm gonna wait till I highlight my face and just use that. I'm gonna go in with my Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara on my top and bottom latches. Now I'm gonna go in with some falsies. I'm gonna use the Kiss Lashes 
These are in the style Camellias. I love these lashes. I bought them at Walgreens. They just look so natural, but like wispy and fluttery at the same time, but very natural. Love them, love them. They're a little bit flimsy, so it's a little bit hard to work with, but once you get them on, they just look so natural. I mean, you, you're wearing falsies, but they look nice. So I'm gonna apply these really quick and be right back. The lighting just got really awful because it's South Florida weather, so it's about to downpour. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, pretty much, just got a highlight. I'm actually gonna be using these products for the first time. I've never tried these. ColourPop came out with sculpting sticks. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit skeptical. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna use the shade Easy Peasy. I was gonna use Dove, but that looks just way too gray. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques sponge to blend this in. <laughs> Let's pray this goes well because I really like how my eyes turned out and I don't wanna ruin my makeup. I'm gonna try on my forehead. I'm gonna try on my forehead first. So I'm just gonna kind of like paint this. <sighs> I don't know. Actually, no. I'm gonna try to buff this instead. I feel like this is taking off my foundation though. I don't know. Mm. Okay, so it blends it out all right. I don't mind cream contouring, but I like something that's a little bit more emollient, something a little bit blendier. This is a little bit like too dry for me. I don't know, let's just try like a little, a little bit. I mean, it looks nice once you blend it out, but it's just a little bit difficult. I personally prefer something with a little bit more creaminess. Okay, so first impressions on this, I don't know if I like it, I have to play around with it a little bit more. Not my favorite. Now I'm just gonna bronze the skin and contour a little bit more. I'm gonna take this bronzer. This isn't new or anything, but it's new to me. I just purchased this on Sephora. This is the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Suntan. I thought that this had a really nice undertone. It has more of like a cool undertone. So I'm gonna take this like um, up and up brush from Target. I have no idea what the name is. It came in a set. And I'm just going to uh, bronze my face. Have hairs going everywhere. Did your mom ever, like when you were younger, your mom or grandma or whoever raised you, took care of you? I don't know. When I was younger and like my hair was like frizzy like this, like my mom would lick her hand and like pat it on my head. Thanks, mom. I have saliva in my hair, thanks. <laughs> Maybe that was just my weird ass mom. <laughs> oh, anyway, what I was telling you guys earlier, I feel like I completely stopped my story about the Selena Gomez concert. I went to my sister's house and I like dropped off the tickets and when I got back in the car like to go back home I cried the entire time on my way home because I felt so stupid because I knew that what was holding me back really was just like fear in the crowd and stuff and I was so mad at myself for letting for letting that get in the way of something I had been this neck thing for letting it get in the way of something that I had been planning for months and something that I had, like I was so excited uh, to be there. I got floor seats. It really sucks, you know, sometimes when you feel like you're kind of going backwards instead of going forward. I was really, really hard on myself that day, but you guys were so encouraging. We all have bad days and we all have struggles. I really hope I don't allow that to happen to myself again if I ever get the chance to see her in concert again. Anyway, point of my story is I just wanna say thank you so much for being so encouraging on my Twitter. So I really, really like this bronzer. I like it, I like it, that's the shade. Suntan. I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna take this blush right here from Tarte. This is one of their new blushes. I've never tried this either. This is in the shade Risqué. I don't know if these blushes are available yet or if they come out next month. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown blush brush. This is a very natural blush color. Perfect for the lipstick I'm about to put on. <laughs> that is such a pretty color and so natural. It's like a nice nude pink. Wow, that's so pretty. I love the Tarte blushes, they last like a million years. For highlight, I'm taking a new product I haven't used on my face yet. I've just watched this, I'm so excited. This is the Ofra highlight in the shade Beverly Hills. Five different colors, kind of like in a color wheel. You have a white, a white gold, a gold, a pink, like a silvery, pinky pearl, so pretty. I'm actually gonna take this shade right here 
This is a Morphe G37, and I'm gonna use this shade to highlight. Oh my, that is pigmented. Oh. Gonna highlight the tip of my nose because I like it. And my cupid's bow a little bit. I have a 30% off code for Ofra if you guys wanna use it. It is Kathleen30, I will have that all listed below. It is an affiliate code. Just wanna let you guys know. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my lip color. I wanna do something like really different. I wanna do black lipstick, but I wanna do it with like some shimmer in it. I don't know if you guys have seen, but like Kylie Jenner is releasing this like black liquid lipstick that has like shimmer and it's like really, really pretty. And I thought that I could maybe do something really similar. So I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Weirdo and I'm going to apply this to my lips. Okay, so my lips are done and I kinda wanna leave it like this. Like I really, really like it. But I'm gonna add some lip topper. This is a Jouer lip topper in the shade Skinny Dip. It's like a gold reflective lip topper. So I'm gonna add a little bit to the center of my lips. I'm scared. I don't know. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that added just a little bit of something. I'm gonna take some of this off with a wipe because I don't want it to put like black liquid lipstick back into this little lip topper. Okay guys, so that completes this look. I know it's not very summery, but for some reason I wanted to do like a metallic black lipstick. I was so inspired by Kylie's new lip color. So this is the look I came up with and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I almost forgot what I say at the end of my video. Wow. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm actually gonna do my camera. Nope, oh, my eyebrows. I can't get enough of you, baby. Oh, the little one fell out. South Florida wetter. Wetter? No. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my boxy share. I woke up today with every intention of filming this video Then I realized I had to brush my hair and I was like, oh, I really don't feel like doing that today